Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to call this video Racing Pigeons Motivation. And what I'm going to talk about is different systems to fly and motivate your birds. But before we get into that, you have to understand that your pigeons have to be mature enough to have hormones. The pituitary gland has got to be functioning. Without the hormones, nothing will work. Nothing at all. So, with that said, let's hope your birds are old enough to have the hormones flowing. Okay, I wrote a few things down. The first one is dual widowhood. We mentioned earlier in a video, you separate the hands, you separate the cocks, and you fly them separate sexes. For that particular system, I would think the hens do a little better. In Rick Mardinus' video, he talked about flying celibate hens, which is basically dual widowhood with, without the cocks. When he let them hens out, they wouldn't fly. They right over to the cocks. They wanted to get in with the cocks. So, I would think the hens fly better on dual widowhood. I imagine that you could put the hens in with the cocks a few minutes to motivate the cocks. And that would be the, the normal natural widowhood for cocks. I guess that's pretty much it. We do a widowhood. Moving on. Plain widowhood. That's where you take the hens away. You're not going to fly them. The cocks are let out by themselves. They fly a lot. They fly pretty good normally when they're separated sexes. Most guys put their birds in anywhere from two minutes to an hour, two hours before they ship the cocks. They want the cocks to know the hen is in the coop. Basic widowhood. Good system. One thing nice about widowhood the cocks are usually very calm in the coop. They kind of appear to rest all the time. I like that, but I don't think it's the best system. That's my opinion. Somebody else will have a different opinion and probably had a lot of success flying just widowhood. Okay, moving on. Celibate. That's where you take the cocks away and the hens are left on their own. I, I don't really get celibate too much. I've never really flown it. Don't like it that much. Mostly because the hens made up on each other. Maybe there, when they're on eggs, you got something going. But celibate, for me, don't work. If anybody has some success with it, please leave it in the comments, and we'll try to do something with that. Okay. Hens on eggs. Now we're getting to something I like. When pigeons sit eggs, I think I explained to you before, there's hormone changes within the body, the liver gets larger, the breast muscles get more blood in them, the capu more capillaries. All of this is now to transfer heat to the egg. I think you wind up with more pigeon, much more pigeon. Not to mention that the pigeon is now already creating eggs. Nine day 
Hens on nine day eggs seems to be everybody's favorite. So that's hens on eggs. And they'll fly back to the eggs. Some guys do a lot of tricks with that. They keep putting eggs in the bowl. Some guys get the, uh, the what are they, the, the dummy eggs, but they open up in half and they put a bug in there. Put the egg together so that the bug is trying to get out. The mother feels that she thinks that it's a young one trying to hatch. That motivates a bird pretty good. Feeding young birds. That, that works for some cocks. Some cocks, boy, when they're feeding them babies, you know, when they get a little bigger, they just want to be home feeding that baby, taking care of that young one. That's a pretty good system for the cocks. I think it's a little strenuous on the birds, but some cocks respond to that. Some cocks really, really respond to that feeding a young one. Okay. Moving on. The mirror. This is, this is a good one. I've done this. You got a hen on eggs, but you want to excite her a little bit. You get a mirror, put it in the box so that she could see herself. Some of them hens get off the eggs and fight with that mirror. They, boy, they try to beat the hell out of the mirror. That really motivates a, a good mother, a good hen. The mirror works, works pretty well. Put it inside of the box. Some guys actually take the hen out of the box, put another hen in there when they're on eggs. And uh, the hen's trying to get back to the eggs. And boy, she gets real upset if there's a strange bird in her nest box or, or on her eggs. And that really could motivate a hen. Really a good way to motivate a hen. Oh... Side-by-side -side nest boxes. Now, this is something I did. I had, in my loft, I made a nest box. And nest boxes weren't big. They were maybe 10 inches, you know, 14 high by 10 inches. But on the side, I had a thing that you could slide out. And I would put a piece of screening in there. And then I could put alongside that hen a strange cock. I always tried to get a buggy cock or unmated cock that would be cooing and getting excited. That also excites, especially the hen. More often than not, the hen. But a cock, too. You could do it with a cock, too. He don't like that bird, with, which he thinks is now in his nest box. So it could motivate a bird. Really, really well. Okay. These are all little, just little tricks. Peepholes. If you're flying dual widowhood, you make a little hole. Inch hole, two inch hole, so that they can see the birds on the other side. The cocks see the hens. The hens see the cocks. Gets them all excited. They were always a little motivated. Some guys had a lot of success with that. It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Mine was always natural widowhood. Ever since the red check I had. I lost my train of thought here. Give me a minute. Okay. What you're really trying to get you're trying to get that one, two, or three pigeons that get beyond the motivation. They get beyond flying with the flock. They want to get out and get home. If you can educate a pigeon to do, to do that, 
And it's usually through mistakes. The pigeon normally makes a lot of mistakes. But if you get a pigeon that gets beyond that, flying with the flock, gets out of the basket, out of the race crate, and <whistles> heads home, that's a very, very difficult pigeon to beat. I've had a few of them. Cal Posca, I mentioned his pigeon. 1015 was one of them. Super pigeons. These are super pigeons. They don't want to know nothing for whatever reason except to come directly home. And you could educate birds to do that. You can do that. That's where your single tossing comes in. That's where you're going down to Salisbury. They're hitting other birds. They're breaking. Sooner or later, those pigeons learn not to fly with the flock to come directly home. I mentioned Randall used to tra train his birds 200 miles. Young birds. He did it with young birds. He was a tough guy to beat. Those pigeons were to the point when they got out of the basket, they were coming straight home. They didn't want to know nothing. Other birds would come up with them. They, you know, they could stay with them. But he got his to go directly to the loft. Other guys, they could be a minute behind, two minutes behind, whatever. They'd be close. But they weren't beating Randall. They weren't beating him. He worked hard. He trained early. He trained far. He trained hard. And them pigeons basically understood to come straight home. Really straight home. If you get a pigeon that can do that, especially a yearling, if you can get a yearling that doesn't want to fly with the flock, maybe you got him on widowhood, maybe he's feeding a young one, whatever the reason is, but that pigeon gets into that habit of coming directly home. That's when you get a, a 1015 like cow or a 544 like I had. Those pigeons, they didn't pay no mind to nothing else except coming straight home. And if them two pigeons got out together, you could be sure it wasn't long after that they were coming, they were going directly to their own lofts. They were just super pigeons. But you can create that with training. And I refer back to the common pigeon my father trained, the street rat, that when I was changing the water, I turned around, she was in the coop. Every day he trained that pigeon, every day. All that pigeon knew was to fly two feet off the ground, work her way home. She wasn't interested in anything else except getting home and sitting on them eggs. So that's pretty much it with motivation. Think about the things I said. Find which one works best for you. You got a question? Put it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, and please subscribe. We got other stuff we're going to talk about. We'll get to that prop milk one day. Okay, thanks again.